Like and subscribe right now, or the spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Shipwrecks, sunken cities, and ancient artifacts are some of the commonest finds by deep sea divers. However, the enigmatic ocean has gone a step further to unearth some unimaginable things you wouldn't have guessed laid on the ocean floor. This video reveals 12 of the strangest things found by deep sea divers. Number 1. Cleopatra Underwater Palace Cleopatra's underwater palace is believed to be one of the sites where she was buried alongside Mark Anthony. Of the three places where her remains may have been buried, the Palace of Enterodos remains the least investigated. The site was discovered by Frank Gaudio and Ashraf in 1996, revealing that an architectural preparation was carried out around 250 BC for subsequent urbanization. They found several impressive structures, like an unfinished palace for Mark Anthony, a temple dedicated to the Egyptian goddess Isis, monuments, and a royal residence of the Egyptian pharaoh of Macedonian descent, Cleopatra. This underwater palace is submerged five meters below water and is believed to be where Egypt's last pharaoh took her life with Mark Anthony, her lover. Cleopatra ruled Egypt until the Romans conquered it. After that, Egypt remained part of the Macedonian Empire that governed many antagonistic successors for nearly 300 years. Number 2. A Man Alive If you call Harrison O'Kin the luckiest man alive, you might not be too far from the truth. The Nigerian man was lost at sea after his tugboat suddenly capsized and sank 100 feet below the ocean's surface. He was trapped in a four-foot bathroom with no way to ask for help. He had no access to food or water for the three days he was there. His miraculous escape from the death trap was filmed by divers who came to collect the victims' bodies. Fortunately, Okin saw them and stretched his hands seeking for help. The rescuers were shocked at how long he held on to his life. Experts say he began experiencing the first symptoms of carbon dioxide toxicity after 56 hours. They say it would have taken at least 79 hours for him to be unconscious from the carbon dioxide. Number 3. Missile Silo Seoul has confirmed to the world it has a nuclear missile silo hidden underwater. There are plans to launch it, and weapons experts suggest it could happen in any of the country's lakes, reservoirs, or surrounding lakes. Photographs showed a missile emerging from the water with a rocket's glow visible behind the waves. The launch was probably conducted from a mobile submersible barge rather than a cavernous structure with a fixed location. The potential for North Korean underwater silos adds a layer of mystery to Kim's weapon program. Number 4. Gold The Bering Sea Gold is a reality TV show in Nome, Alaska that airs on Discovery Channel. The show tells the story of boats equipped with various setups to achieve gold mining in shallow water, the ocean environment, cold northern latitude, and summertime. Each fleet has a cold water diving life support system, sluicing apparatus, and a means of pay dirt collection. In 2015, over 100 gold dredges operated in the summer sea mining season. As they search for gold, they also find other precious items on the seabed. Miners are willing to risk it all to find one of the most renowned treasures. Number 5. Lion City The Lion City is a submerged city that lies at the foot of the Wuxi Mountain, about 25 to 40 meters beneath the spectacular Quando Lake in China. Despite over 50 years of staying underwater, it's perfectly intact and transforms into a virtual time capsule. By 2017, the location was open to tourists, revealing a museum with carvings dating back to 1400 years. This city was first set up as a country in 208 AD and was a hive for political and economic activities in the eastern province of Sicheng. Unfortunately, the Chinese government decided to build a hydroelectric power station in 1959 that submerged Sicheng 40 meters below water. The dam caused the once thriving city to be forgotten for over five decades. Today, tourists can get into the site to view as many historical treasures as possible. Number 6. Antikythera The Antikythera, an ancient Greek device, was discovered in 1901 and named the world's first computer. The front of the mechanism had gears that made it difficult for archaeologists and astronomers to interpret. Thanks to computer modeling, researchers constructed the ancient computer to allow them to understand the purpose it served. The first guess was that it was used to determine the cycles of the planets. They guessed it was a complex astronomical computer made by the Greeks. 
They used advanced mathematicians, metallurgy, engineering, and astronomy to construct the device over 2,000 years ago. It may have also been used to calculate the sun's position and stars. Number seven, dolphin skin. Deep sea divers recently found the full skeleton of a cetacean called Ankylorhiza tetamen. The 23 million year old bones show that the 15 foot long dolphin with tusk-like front teeth once lived in present day South Carolina. It's the first time scientists are finding the nearly complete skeleton of an extinct large dolphin. It's believed that the fossil dates back to the Oligocene epoch and highlights crucial steps in the animal's evolution. This ancient dolphin had already split from other whales before developing modern traits. It probably had thick roots and enamel ridges that helped them cut through prey. This creature was well adapted to eating its way through biodiversity. Although it wasn't as large as modern day killer whales, it was double the size of most other dolphins. Number eight, underwater museum. Jason DeCares Taylor is an award-winning sculptor, professional underwater photographer, and environmentalist. He spent most of his professional life creating underwater museums and sculptures beneath waves. He submerged over 1,100 living artworks, 15 meters underwater globally in the world's seas and oceans. Some of his key areas are environmental activism, climate emergency, and the regenerative attributes of nature. These underwater sculptures create a habitat for marine life while revealing that nature is fragile. Taylor intends to force human attention to re-examine the sea. So far, he's achieved his aim. The World's Resources Institute reports that reefs are at risk and 75% are threatened globally. This is bad news because it shelters a quarter of marine species. Number nine, airplane. Scientists testing underwater equipment confirmed that they found the wreckage of an airplane underwater in California's Folsom Lake. This discovery may have solved a 56-year-old aviation mystery. They realized something was down there after examining data a colleague collected. The water level in the lake is low due to extreme drought. This helped them return to the site with a small remote-controlled ROV. Unfortunately, they couldn't see it clearly since visibility was six or seven inches. Nevertheless, the team collected images of the plane's tail section that matched the description of a plane that crashed in 1965. Although the pilot's body was recovered, the rescue team never found the plane or the passengers on board. Number 10, Stone Age Settlement. One of the most intriguing finds on the planet dates back to the Stone Age or the Neolithic era and is submerged at least 20 meters below sea level. In their usual search for ancient settlements, scientists found a 9,000-year-old settlement. It existed at a crucial time in history, and researchers believed that by understanding who lived there, they could get insights into how humans conquered the globe. Many years ago, the Greek island of Santorini was once a larger island in the Asian Sea and home to the Akrotiri, a late Bronze Age outpost. Unfortunately, a volcanic explosion in the 17th century triggered a tsunami that wiped them off the face of the map. Number 11, Sinkhole of Skulls. When underwater explorers excavated a flooded sinkhole in southern Mexico, they made a shocking revelation that scared locals. The cavern is a cenote in the country's Yucatan Peninsula. The pit results from the collapse of limestone bedrock that exposes groundwater underneath. The area is believed to have been used by ancient Mayans for sacrificial offerings. The area was a major political center for the 12th and 15th centuries AD. Local legend says a horse-headed serpent guards this cavern. Residents tell unconfirmed stories of serpents perching on a tree and spinning three times before diving into the water. In fact, villagers don't go near this place because they fear for their lives. When archaeologists investigated the place further, they found two chambers with bones scattered on the floor. This further corroborates the claim that something shady happened there many years ago. Number 12. Ghost Fleet of Truck Lagoon Thousands of divers flock to the Central Pacific called Chuck Lagoon in Micronesia to see the world's largest ghost fleet. The area has also earned the reputation as the best wreck diving destination on the planet. Diverse people immerse themselves in history and witness firsthand the destruction that happened during World War II. It's also an emotional sight to visit, especially if you familiarize yourself with the destruction that occurred within the period. Japan used the Truck Lagoon as its main operation base during the war. The area was one of the country's most operational and logistical hubs. 
It's also the only major Japanese airbase within range of the Marshall Islands. The Americans hoped to wipe out the Japanese Imperial fleet, and they achieved that to a great deal. One week before the operation was launched, Japan moved most of their larger weapons to the Palau, fearing that Truck Lagoon was compromised. Unfortunately, most of the fleet was at the anchor in the lagoon, and when Operation Hellstone struck, it was game over. Until next time, adios.